Hey, Megan here again with Rocky Mountain Sewing and Vacuum. Today we're going to be talking about the Burnett series from Bernina, specifically the Burnett B77 sewing only machine next to me. The Burnett B77 is a fantastic beginner intermediate sewers machine. It has a lot of great features pumped into a decent price point, not to mention that it definitely kind of spoils you with the way that it sews and some of the things that you're able to do with it. It does have the same interface as a Bernina, which is really nice if you've looked at some of those newer Bernina machines. And what's super great about that is it does have the same interface, but it's not as crazy as a price point as some of the, those wonderful Berninas are. I am going to show you some of my favorite features on it and kind of go over what that interface looks like. Right away, looking at the screen, you notice it does have the same screen as a Bernina. It's got all of the same kind of functionality. I can choose, I'm going to grab my stylus actually, all of the different decorative stitches that are on here. So all of these on this ribbon here are different categories. It's got some really fun ones hiding in here too, like little hearts or houses, and some kind of fun ones. And of course, we've got our basic utility stitches. You can't go wrong with the automatic buttonholes. And then for the quilters out there, some fabulous quilting stitches on there as well. What it does have too, you can toggle when you stop sewing for the needle to be up or down, which is a feature I use a lot. And it has an automatic pivot function, which we'll talk about a little bit later, which makes that a lot easier for you as you're sewing, turning corners, going around a curve, any of those sort of things that are kind of hard to manipulate with your fabric. On this side here, I can change my tension, tell it what type of needle I have, if I want to do a twin needle or a single needle, what needle plate is on the machine. It even tells me, just like your regular Bernina machines do, which presser feet I can and cannot use for the stitch that I have selected and which ones are recommended, which you can tell by the stars here. And then the green check mark is the one that I've told the machine is on it. And of course I've got my presser foot pressure and once again that needle plate button. So to get sewing, I'm gonna go ahead and start. I'm gonna put my piece of fabric underneath it. And when you look at the front of the machine, we do have a whole bunch of buttons over here. I can toggle needle up and down at any point. I've got my speed control right here. And then I've also got my presser foot down, my scissor button, and my back, back stitching there. Or I've got my automatic go button. For right now I'm gonna use my presser foot, but when I press it down, it's automatically gonna lower that presser foot for me. I use that feature a whole lot, and it's one of them that I feel like spoils you once you have a machine that does that because it makes it a lot easier when you're just ready to go. From here, I'm gonna go ahead and sew. Get to the end, use my thread cutter, and it automatically raises the presser foot as well. And then from there, you've got your sewing. Along with that, the Burnett B77 is actually armed with a dual feed system as well. So what that dual feed is, is back here, there's a little thing that in, uh, engages and adds feed dogs to the top of your fabric as well as the bottom. So when you're working on thicker projects or some of those things that are harder to sew, like spandex, it will actually feed both of those layers nice and even for you. I use that feature a lot and I think it's fabulous that they put this on this machine. Along with that, it does have an automatic needle threader. You can never go wrong with those. And in general, it's easy to put the bobbin in, easy to thread the machine, and then you're ready to go. If on the screen here, you wanna play with the zigzag, and you wanna play with your stitch width and stitch length, just like on a Bernina, you've got your dials here, where I can make that bigger or smaller. You'll see it kinda of does it on the screen for me. And I can put it back to default. And same thing with stitch length. You'll notice my stitches get bigger or smaller as well. So it makes it really easy to customize the stitch for whatever fabric you're using or if there's a certain style that you wanna do as well. Of course, some of the fun things that you can do as well is you can go into your settings 
and customize it so I can tell it what color I want that background to be, which is just kind of fun. Not everybody's favorite color is purple. And then you can also go to this little dress form here and it can help you figure out what type of fabric you're using and alter it for tensions and things like that. All in all, it is a power horse of a uh, beginner intermediate machine. It is really easy to use, not too intimidating, and is very reminiscent of the Berninas. So if you are looking for a machine for a new sewer, maybe you are a new sewer and you're looking for a machine that's gonna be a workhorse that has a lot of features, I definitely recommend coming into one of our Rocky Mountain sewing locations and checking this guy out. Thanks for joining me.